So now what could be the sources of, um, you can say, the contamination, right? Now, um, uh, as you can know that Mali simply relies on ionization of the analyte molecules by proton transfer. Uh, if your sample is contaminated uh, by uh, with some ionic compounds already, these would be detected instead of your analyte. These would be detected first instead of your analyte. So it's uh, necessary to be very cautious what quality of uh, water uh, you are using or you have, you, are, you are being used with uh, in the uh, for formation of an analyte and sample and it should uh, uh, never be compromised if some buffers or detergents or salts are being used, uh, then you can say uh, desalting purification technique may be important. The instrument steel plate should be uh, cleaned or wiped properly with some alcohol or methanols. Basically, methanols are used for wiping the steel plate and finally rinsing with some purified water in the solvent. Or you can say you can use an ultrasonic bath for uh, intense cleaning, right? This is also one of the very good options. The target plate should be handled with edges, with gloved hands, as I just told you. And lab coats are avoided as they are full of microorganisms, as they are full of contamination, contaminated things over them. So you can be wearing simple street clothes or your own clothes, right? Now the UV absorbing matrix is uh, used that co-crystallizes with a sample to be analyzed. Uh, um, on that uh, particular steel plate and escalates or you can say pro the progress of um, progress ionization of organic molecules that are mostly non-volatile they are not volatile in nature so matrix matrix is basically acidic in nature having conjugated uh, rings having benz benzene rings as i told you before right earlier and um, they have the conjugated system so matrix is selected depending upon the class of the compounds to be analyzed consult literature consult references consult proper literature consult references for that of the uh, for particular number of, of nature of the compounds to be analyzed for that um, and uh, leading towards different results if you are going to be uh, you know getting you're getting you need to get the best results you have to go through all these things one by one so now we'll come to the advantages and disadvantages of matrix right uh, each matrix has uh, different advantages and disadvantages like uh, you can say as successful crystallization uh, ionization or impurity tolerance uh, these are all the things that are supposed to be noted very clearly so now the choice of the solvent is also very important what solvent you are going to use for uh, the matrix and uh, analyte preparations right choosing a proper solvent depends only upon your sample to be analyzed what nature it holds uh, matrix and analyte uh, are supposed to be soluble in matrix uh, solvent this is one of the very important point as for example the proteins are dissolved in water acetonitrile and uh, you can say 0.1% um, TFA is 0.1% um, and then TFA whereas the uh, you how you're going to prepare the matrix solution I will tell you now that thing also you have to make a saturated solution first right this is the number one thing of matrix um, and then you will centrifuge it to and come you can say um, uh, centrifuge to some compact undissolved solid and draw off the saturated supernatant right this is the way you can prepare your matrix solution and that's your matrix solution whereas your analyte solution is prepared in a different way you sh it should be diluted and keep these things these things in your mind that if it's concentrated it should be, it's very concentrated it should be it, sh uh, it, sh it should be between 0.1 to um, you can say 10 uh, micromolar where Whereas if um, these are done and if too dilute, it will leads to, you can say, bit below the detection limit, right? And if it's too concentrated, it leads to difficulty in ionization. You will get a lot of difficulty when you are, you are achieving the ionization point. It's just because of this that your uh, solution was, your sample or solution was um, uh, too much concentrated. The concentration was not appropriate. So when you are at matrix and analyte uh, solutions are prepared, the sample is loaded on the steel plate. As as I just told you before depending upon the you can say the compound or the type of the compounds uh, you are going to use by a you can say by a uh, dried uh, droplet method there is a first method that is always used is a dried drop, droplet method matrix and analytes are mixed in ratio and then one to you can say two microliter droplet is applied to a